Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, um, I am going to be making something that I've never made before and I'm really, really looking forward to doing this one. So I've already made like um, another section. I didn't film that one because it was the first time that I did it. So I wanted to just like really concentrate on it, but I will do a tutorial on that when I get a bit more confident. Um, and then I have got a little, little Ted with me as well. Oh. It's looking a bit sad, but never mind. Stay there, Ted. Oh, he's a bit floppy. I'm gonna have to sort him out in a minute. <laughs> he looks how I feel. Um, anyway, so today's theme is gonna be like um, yellows, whites, florals, all that kind of stuff, because I want it to be a really girly, like one-year-old birthday. So, I've got, oh, flying them everywhere. I've got 18 inch uh, Sempertex pastel yellow. I've also got the 12 inch and 5 inch um, and then I've just got a few um, Qualitex 11 inch white as well and 5 inch white. The reason why I'm only sticking to these ones today is because I want to make like a cloud and I want it to look like the teddy is holding the cloud in his hand. So I'm going to do the same as what I do every single time. I'm going to leave my 5 inch blooms to one side and I'm going to be just blowing up the 18 inch and the 11 inch into pairs, making clusters and then I'll show you how I'm going to attach it to this frame. You guys are going to be so excited to know, but well, you're not going to be excited, but I'm excited because I've got a new light coming tomorrow after all these months of me literally just trying to hold on to this ring light it is literally gone now like there's no stand at the bottom i've sellotaped it it's just awful so i'm not using it today um but i will be having my new one tomorrow delivered and it's bigger and better so hopefully the quality of the videos will be much better as well um so yeah i'm just going to go on with uh blowing these and then i will show you exactly how i'm going to <laughs> didn't mean to do that uh, attaching it to the mesh frame. I have just um, blown up all of the balloons. I've blown up all my white balloons and my yellow balloons as well, and I've clustered them. So I've used three pairs to make a cluster with this one, um, and now I'm going to attach it to, oh, actually, I might blow up my five inch balloons first. So my five inch balloons, um, usually I make big clusters out of the five inches alone, but for this design, I just don't think it would look right. So I'm gonna go with like triplets for the five inch balloons and see how I get on with that. And then if I feel like I can add a few uh, bigger sections of five inch balloons, then I will do that. So I'm gonna blow those up and then we will get started with construction. mini garland and I want it to have like a bit of a slant to it I want it to look like it's floating so just gonna take a little step back this is a good tip guys always take a step back to look at your work and kind of think right where do I want this to go where do I want this to go because you don't want to get to the end of it and then think oh, I should have done that so I always like to take a step back and just reflect on what the next steps should be so I actually want this to go a little bit higher and um, so I'm just going to push it up like that and all I'm going to do is attach one cluster at a time. I'm not going to do it how I usually make a garland. I want to do it kind of stage by stage where um, I can kind of create the shape that I want it to be. Thank you. 
because all I've done is attached it by each um, cluster separately to make this kind of fluffy cloud shape. So now that I think that it's big enough, um, I'm going to just go in and fill in any gaps with the five inch balloons. And then I've got a few balloons left over, so I don't know whether to do anything on the side or we'll see. But now I'm going to fill it in with the five inch balloons. Now that the cloud is complete, I'm going to attach some floristry ribbon and um, get the teddy to look like he's actually holding it up. So I'm going to, I don't know how I'm going to do that yet, but let's see. <laughs> So guys, I have attached the um, bear to the cloud and I've just done that by attaching three different um, pieces of ribbon there. So now I have just had a little idea, why not put a little floral piece in there too, just to pretty it up a little bit more. Um, it looks so, so cute and I've done like a blue mosaic as well. I did that the other day though, just like to practice and I loved how it turned out so I thought I might as well include it. So I'm going to make a little floral piece now and get Ted to hold it. So guys, like I said before, I made a number mosaic about two days ago that I really wanted to include in this video. It actually inspired me to make this video. So I'm going to leave this here as well. I'll take loads of videos of um, what the end product looks like. I'm literally in love with it. So I'll leave some clips here for you. I hope this video helped you and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.